The Honourable Member of Calgary Mountain View, followed by Edmonton Strathcona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Auditor General has once again identified a lack of basic oversight and accountability in the health care system, in this case related to infection prevention programs. Alberta Health Services' own data show no improvement in hospital-acquired infection rates in the last three years. To the Minister, when will you meet your commitment to reduce the number of people who get sick when they come into hospitals from infections? Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, as a physician, I'm sure the Honourable Member would agree with me that uh, uh, we, in fact, have some of the lowest rates uh, of infection for specific uh, organisms in, in our province's hospitals. What the Auditor General said, Mr. Speaker, is that we have an opportunity with a provincial delivery system to uh, improve our surveillance and improve our compliance rates with the standards that we ourselves set, very aggressive standards, Mr. Speaker, and that also meet the uh, requirements of national accreditation bodies. I couldn't agree more, Mr. Speaker, that in areas like hand hygiene, we need to drastically improve performance, and we look to the leadership of physicians and other health professionals to help us do that. Mr. Speaker, given we have significant hospital overcrowding, including emergency rooms, increasing the risk of life-threatening infections for already sick people, will you admit your failure to achieve your own goal of 85 per cent occupancy in our major institutions? Mr. Speaker, we have one of the highest uh, rates of acute care beds uh, per capita in the country. We also live in a province that is growing by the size of the city of Red Deer every year. Mr. Speaker, I think that Alberta Health Services staff do an amazing job of, uh, of coping with the challenges of a, of a growing uh, province, a growing population, and a growing health care system. It's very clear from the Auditor General's report that we need to do a better job in terms of monitoring and reporting on meeting the standards that we ourselves set. But, Mr. Speaker, meet those standards we will. Well, the Minister likes to comment on the number of acute care beds. The problem is they're not staffed, Mr. Minister. Given hospitals are all, almost all over 100 per cent capacity with people in corridors and crammed into wards, what plans do you have to deal with a surge of patients during the upcoming flu epidemic? Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, again, as a physician, I certainly hope the Honourable Member is, in, is encouraging his constituents and all Albertans to get the flu shot this year. As the Honourable Member knows, we have a, a less than uh, acceptable rate of immunization in this province. As the Honourable Member also knows, we have very busy hospitals across the province. They are very well staffed, Mr. Speaker. They are staffed by people who are caring and well-trained individuals and who are committed to the care of their patients. And I suggest to the Honourable Member that he might want to stand up once in a while in support of those workers and commend their work to the rest of the province.